Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 41 from the second chapter, the force factors from the book of engineering mechanics, the statics part by R.C. Hebler. So in this problem, we are being asked to determine the magnitude of the resultant force and also its direction that is being measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis. So let's solve this problem. So let's consider this hook on which these forces are acting so one force of magnitude 4 newton force is acting exactly in the positive x-axis direction the other force which is acting as in a magnitude of 5 kilo newton that makes an angle of 45 with the positive x-axis there is a third force which is acting at an angle of 60 degree with the f2 force and as in a magnitude of 8 kilo newton force so this angle is 60 now we have to determine the resultant so there are various ways through which we can determine the resultant force but we are going to use the method in which first we are going to resolve all the forces into its horizontal and vertical components and the benefit of doing that will be we will be having the horizontal and vertical component of the resultant force once we will be having the horizontal and vertical component of the resultant force then we can determine its magnitude and also its direction so let's determine the x component of the resultant force which is actually equal to the summation of all the component of the forces acting in x direction or you can say the horizontal components of all the forces since f1 is uh, in the direction of x axis so the magnitude of the horizontal component or the x component will be equal to 4 and i'm taking rightward forces as positive so positive 4 now the horizontal component x component of f2 would be positive again and that will be 5 cos 45 now how about the horizontal component of f3 force so there are various ways through which you can do since the horizontal component of this force will be leftward hence negative now the angle this force is making with the horizontal will be 75 degrees how i calculate it you know that the total angle from positive to negative x-axis will be 180 so 45 and 60 will make 105 and if you subtract 105 from 180 you will get 75 degrees so this f3 force is making an angle of 75 degree with the negative x-axis so the horizontal component will then be 8 cos 75 so on the calculations we are going to get the x component of the resultant force as 5.464 kN. now how about the y component of the resultant force let's calculate that taking upward forces as positive so there won't be any vertical component of f1 because the f1 force is directed in the direction of x-axis so zero the y component of f2 force will be 5 sine 45 since it should be upward hence positive same with the case for f3 it will be upward hence positive and the angle that we are going to use will be 75 so 8 sine 75 so on doing calculations we are going to get the y component of the resultant force as 11.263 kN. so once we have the x and y component using the formula of the resultant force which is in the under root r x square plus r y square putting the value of r x and r y in this equation we are going to get the resultant as 12.5 kN. this is one of the answer so we just have calculated the magnitude of the resultant force but still we are being asked with one other thing which is the direction so direction will be calculated using the formula of 10 theta which is equal to ry over rx so putting the value of rx and ry in this equation taking the 10 inverse we are going to get the angle as 64.1 degrees this is another answer so this is how the calculation for the magnitude of the resultant force and the direction of the resultant force will be done when there are three forces or maybe more than that or maybe less than that are acting to any body and it is being asked to determine its resultant and as well as the direction. So this is all from this video where we have learned about the calculation of the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. That's all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.